need to get him on the dirt. Hush. Stand there and shut up. You want me to lift him off the rocks? No. I need you to stand there and be quiet. <laughs> Cody, quit laughing. This is a deadly, venomous snake. It could kill me if it bites me. <laughs> Cody, quit laughing. I'm going to throw this thing on you. <laughs> New Mexico, the Chihuahuan Desert, 200,000 square miles of jagged mountain peaks, arid desert hills, and alkaline riverbeds. So here's this rock hounder's oh, backpack. Yeah. Seems real light, which means there's probably no water in it. Mistake number one. In this rock hounder pack, we have the backpack itself, which unfortunately is olive drab, so it doesn't do us any good for signaling. Of course, they have the pickaxe. We have a rock pick. I'm not sure what we're gonna use it for, but I'm not willing to give it up at this point. Fresno lens. That'll come in handy. It's a no-brainer for making fire. It's light, we're not gonna lose that whatsoever. I believe there's water down there. And there is. So what I'm thinking about is using this backpack and collect the water. You know, back in the day, cavalrymen used to use canvas buckets to water their horses. And it was awesome because they could water them and then fold it up and go on the move again. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this thing. But the challenge for me is one, getting it down there. So what I'm thinking is finding that wire that we used and fashioning some kind of bucket with the backpack that we have. I'm going to use the canvas bag to haul the water out of the mine, but I'm actually going to use this as a container to transport the water from here to there. This is perfect. You know, I've fought in the deserts for the last 10 years. It's not just the Taliban that could have killed us, but this kind of environment, if you're ill-prepared and you don't have the right gear, the right water, the right food, you've had it. Yes, sir. I got to make sure this thing sinks, so I'm going to put a rock or a couple rocks in the bottom of it. I think that'll do it. I've got one shot at this. This has got to hold. If this breaks or the canvas tears, this thing's going to sink to the bottom. It's over. We have no other way to get water. The most challenging thing with this particular operation is if I get that bag down there and it gets caught on a nail or the bag breaks, game over. I think I'm getting close so I can see the shadow of this bag on the water right now. Whoa! Wow, didn't even see that thing. It's some kind of an owl. I obviously uh, disturbed his sleep and who knows what else is down there. Well, it's sunk, <laughs> or a <laughs> shark. <clears throat> wow, that, that's really heavy. All right. Oh. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we have water. We have the life essence to survive out here in the desert. What I have right now is gold out of a defunct gold mine. I'm loving it. Oh, man, that's music to my ears. I am Santa Claus, and I am delivering the best present Cody could possibly get right now. Merry Christmas. Oh, boy. How's that? That is awesome. Bring it on up. And there's plenty more where this came from. Look, there's a mosquito larva right there. See it dancing around the bottom? Yep. Clearly, there's a bunch of stuff in the water that needs to be dead so it doesn't make us dead through diarrhea or dysentery. So, thank God the pan he has, we can put it right over a fire. So it really doesn't get any better than what he brought back. We need to work on making a fire, disinfect as much of this as possible, yeah. and drink as much water as we can. Gotcha. If you get sick from waterborne pathogens in a scenario like this, you will probably die. I'm gonna go find some tinder bundle stuff. You wanna get some firewood then? Yeah. So we're gonna divide and conquer. Joe's gonna go look for some firewood, essentially. Now I'm gonna go look for tinder bundle material. I need very, very small stuff to burn. I'm dealing with the matches. The fire triangle, oxygen, fuel, and heater ignition. So if I find dry grass, that's hunky-dory. If I process some yucca, whatever. But I'm gonna go out and look for some stuff. 
Look at that as far as a tinder bundle. In this Choya cactus, I find a very common event here, and that's a cactus wren nest. You can see the delicacy of the fiber here that this bird has gathered pretty much everything I'm looking for. It's beautiful. Anytime you can use nature to get your needs met out here, it saves calories and water. And that's what survival's all about. You have this big cloud bank here, and I'm reduced by about probably 50% solar radiation right now. And, you know, I have several hands of light left, but if that gets any thicker, I don't know. With daylight fading in North America's largest desert, survival expert Cody Lundin is desperate to create fire. We've lost a lot of solar radiation because we started late in the game. If we don't make fire with this magnifying glass now, with the daylight we have left, we can't load on water. Without it, he and his partner, Special Ops veteran Joe Tedai, will be unable to purify the water which Joe extracted from the bottom of an abandoned mine shaft. It's taking longer than it should. I just goose that thing down. When it burns some tinder, I move it a millimeter, I burn some more, I never give up on that. There's perfect breeze blown in there. Never take that optic off of there. Always charge it with the heat and hope that ember grows. Lovely, beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah. Whew. Huge score. Oh, that's a bit of heaven there. Look at that. Wow, you can actually feel the temperature drop when you walk into here. Oh yeah, feels awesome. There's definitely a wall here. Someone's been here before. There's a perimeter all around this cottonwood tree. Why don't we do a quick recon? If you want to stay in close, I'll kind of check the perimeter down that way and see what we can find. OK. The place is littered with crap. In a situation like this, you want to exploit an area exactly like this for anything you can get your hands on. I don't know if this is a water trough or a horse. Not quite sure. But uh, it was used at one time for sure for water. Oh. As I'm looking into this thing, I hear the absolute worst sound you'd ever want to hear in the desert. It's a freaking rattlesnake. Cody! What? Come here. Quickly, move with a purpose. What? Get over here. Oh, yeah. Bro, that's food. I know I've eaten them before, and I know you have. We need to kill this thing right now. Why do we need to kill it right now? Well, you need to carry it around in your pocket. We need to kill it right now. It's food. Well, it's food that can hurt you. Yeah, but you know what? I'm hungry, and I know you are, too. Well, we don't have the water to justify the protein, man, as far as I'm concerned. Plus, it's a Western Diamondback. You know, it's not exactly a grub to go after, you know? We haven't secured a water source yet. And out of the three macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, proteins use the most metabolic water to digest. And I'm not going that direction until we find water. This thing is a hundred feet away from where we're bedding down for the night. This compromises our security. You want this thing coming up and sneaking into your bed at night? I live in environments like this, but I understand we'll at least move it away, you know? No, I'm not moving it away. I'm killing this thing right now. You do what you want, dude, but you know, what do you, what's your game plan? I need to find a stick and hold it down and kill it. Just keep an eye on it for one second. Okay. Look, he's looking at you. Okay. Hurry up, man. I'm tired of being your snake sitter already. Just hold on a second. A Western Diamondback can strike two-thirds of its body length. This is about a three-and-a-half-foot snake. I need a stick at least three-and-a-half-foot long. My idea is to pin its head down, chop its head off. I 
need to get him on the dirt. Oh, look at those rattles. I, stand there and shut up. See, I can't get, he's, I've got to get him off those rocks. Do you want me to lift him off the rocks? No, I need you to stand there and be quiet. <laughs> Cody, quit laughing. <laughs> Cody's laughing. I'm like, what are you laughing at? This is not funny. This is a deadly, venomous snake. It could kill me if it bites me. <laughs> Cody, quit laughing or I'm going to throw this thing on you. I was two seconds away from throwing it on him and see if he could laugh that one off. <laughs> I didn't know this was a comedy. Mm. The reason I'm laughing is it is comedic to me to see one of the most dangerous men in the world tap dance around this snake. I found that humorous. talking about. Don't go near it yet. Stifle yourself over there, Edith. This animal can still, as you can see, its head is still moving. This thing can still bite. Look at that. Look at, look at that. God bless. Incredible. With a creature like this, you want to take this head and you want to bury it fang down. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And I'm taking it far away from where we're going to be. A rattlesnake's decapitated head can bite at perceived threats for hours after death. And its venom is as deadly as when it's alive. Look at that. It's still biting. Wow. Burying a snake's head helps prevent accidental bites to other animals and humans. I don't like killing animals, but in a survival situation, you may have to do that. This was a security issue, plain and simple. It had to be removed. With tonight's meal secured, the pressure is on Cody to find the water needed for digestion. Otherwise, consuming the meat will accelerate death by dehydration. Obviously, there's a ton of moisture in there. Look at that caliche. So I'll clear out as much clay as possible and let it fill with water and hopefully let it clarify a little bit via gravity. It's called the classic Indian well. Dig where there's moisture, let gravity fill it up and do the rest, come back and get those resources at a later date. See the water seeping up? If you're in a desert survival situation and you found this seep, it would literally save your life. It is a massive, monumental, crescendo, guitars in the background find. You know, I've eaten rattlesnake before, and I've skinned rattlesnake and cleaned it, but I've never killed one in the wild. That was definitely a first for me. The target of opportunity, it may only appear one time. You may get one shot at him. Yeah. I must say, you have a good taste in the snake. Thank you. 